the sixth graders and staff of the Gibsonburg Middle School wish to thank the Gibsonburg branch of Fifth Third Bank and Reno Linen Servicing of Gibsonburg for their generous support of our edition of News 6. Welcome to this week's edition of News 6. Today's program is brought to you by the 6th grade class of Gibsonburg Middle School in Gibsonburg. Our town was founded in 1871 and is located in Sandusky County. Waystar Park is located there. Northwest Ohio is an impressive agricultural region. On many of its farms you can see animals such as chickens, horses, and cattle. Miranda Kneerum reports on relatively new animal now seen on the ranch. I'm Miranda Knarum. Meet one of Ohio's newest immigrants. Not every day do you get to go to Lama Emily Lama. Walter helps run the Lofty Pines Llama Farm. We have about 50 to 60 llamas on our farm, depending on when they have their babies and which ones, which babies we sell and stuff like that. Llamas are extremely easy to take care of because all they eat is a pound a day. You just put some hay in their, in their pens and they'll eat it. Llamas are tall and majestic animals. Llamas are about three to four feet from the withers. The withers are the back of the llama. A llama weighs about 350 to 400 pounds. Products that come from llamas are the wool, which we can use for spinning and for like sweaters and mittens and hats and stuff like that. And you can make blankets and scarves. The Lofty Pines Llama Farm produces award-winning llamas. Good girl. Some awards that our llamas have gotten are the National Merit and the Recognition of Merit Award. And we've gotten Grand Champion, Reserve Grand, and Obstacle, and Showmanship, and Halter Classes. We've, we've probably won everything. This is Miranda Canaram reporting for News 6. Sometimes kids imitate adults, turning a dream into a reality. For instance, boys who build model planes may become pilots. If that's the case, reporter Brent Heiser knows a boy who will often be seen in the winner's circle. Well, I'm Brent Heiser. One Gibsonburg 8th grader is always looking for the checkered flag. Craig Mintz has been racing go-karts for about eight years. My dad, he was, uh, a racer with dirt bikes and he got me into racing and I really loved the sport and I was out looking for a sport to get that would fit me and I found go-kart racing. Greg has a powerful go-kart. Badger Racing built my go-kart. It is a uh, fast machine. I really enjoy it. They have a couple other ones out. That's a nice one. Oh, we run a five horse Briggs that is modified for racing. Uh, it'll put out between, it'll put out about 7.5 horsepower which can make you go top speed somewhere between 70 mile an hour in that area. The whole go-kart itself would cost around $1,500. He's been in victory lane a few times. I have won uh, many words. I've won a dirt track champion in 1997, a uh, asphalt championship in 1997 also, and last year I won two indoor karting, Ohio indoor karting championships. Well, we were a uh, some jeans, a long t-shirt, a fire suit, uh, a helmet which is protected with, with uh, some people wear a face guard to keep the heat out, um, gloves, and uh, racing shoes. 
Yes, I have crashed, unfortunately, over at, at Bradner, Ohio. Um, I went into a corner and uh, went upside down a couple times and went into a fence, so I wasn't hurt because of the safety harnesses I was wearing in a cage cart. This is Brent Heiser reporting for News 6. Today's kids' view question is, what do you want to be when you grow up and why? A pro football player because I've dreamed of being one when I was a kid. A pediatrician because I like to work with little kids. A baseball player because I want to be famous. A lawyer because it looks fun. A pro baseball player because I always dreamed of being like Greg Maddox. I'm Nathan Kerwin and we're here at Kratzer Field. It is quiet now, but on any given Friday in the fall, the stands are full of cheering fans. Go Bears! Go Bears! I'm Sean Wilson, and we're here at the Gibsonburg Middle School Computer Lab. Here we work on everything from word processing applications to exploring the internet. It's a great place for learning. Gibsonburg is a small village of 2,500 located 13 miles west of Fremont and 20 east of Warren Creek in the county of Sandusky. A strong reoccurring bass, a steady drum beat, a roaring electric guitar with a blast from the keyboards. Natalie Nook reports these are the ingredients of good rock and roll. I'm Natalie Nook, and one man gives Gibsonburg a real rock and roll connection. James Burley has been playing guitar since he was 10 years old. My father first got me interested in music by playing the accordion, but then my older brother took me to a Jimi Hendrix concert when I was like eight years old, and I saw that, and I, that's what I decided I wanted to be. Uh, I usually think of the subject matter that I want to write about and I will write a story and then I'll try and come up with rhymes to, to fit the story of the subject I'm writing about. Currently Mr. Burley plays with the band Steve. Well we had replaced a member and there was a rumor going around that the new member's name was Steve so we thought it was a, kind of funny so we just named us Steve. Actually, we play everything from, like, country to heavy metal. Uh, I was in a band called Scalawag that I had made three CDs with. He's performed his music all over the country. Uh, I've played in New York, and I've played in Hollywood, where I went out to Hollywood to record a CD for a record company. And we play in, like, Cincinnati, Columbus, Toledo, all around Ohio. BMG Records has bought some of his music. I have sold eight songs recently to BMG and they're scouting us around right now to get a big record company interested in us. This is Natalie Nook for News 6. That's all for this edition of News 6. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week for more news from around Northwest Ohio. See ya. The sixth graders and staff of the Gibsonburg Middle School wish to thank the Gibsonburg branch of Fifth Third Bank and Reno Linen Servicing of Gibsonburg for their generous support of our edition of News 6.